Okay, let me do a little live update, but let me show you the water real quick, how pretty it is here, and hopefully just do a five minute update of news. So we, uh, I wanna cover the YouTube. This is a pretty spot I came here with my daughter. But look at how pretty it is. I mean, the, it's a little windy, like a little coal front. I was uh, just leaving a secluded location and it's kind of close to downtown or heading towards downtown. And this spot I did video and it's nice, you could do fellowship here. Now hopefully, I think this could work good. A quick update about midnight last night in Corpus Christi, local news on a street called Capitan, Capitan Street. There was another possible home invasion. And of course this one is serious because there was an officer involved shooting the death of the suspect. They arrested the other one and one is still on the loose. And so that happened at midnight. Of course that would be the second one in the last day or so. Uh, at the one at the London District, which is in the county of Nueces County. So there's somewhat of a, you know, problem we're having here. The YouTuber that shot in the YouTube main offices in California, I read a little bit about her, and we got a problem in the sense of, is YouTube, Google, Facebook, social media, are they contributing? to what you would refer to in a sense as online bullying and all. I read briefly her story, and they describe her as nutty and crazy and all, but that's another problem. She was a vegan, she did bodybuilding uh, health-wise, and she was an animal rights advocate, which my children are all animal rights advocates. But what she said was, she had various websites and all, but she said that YouTube was discriminating against her. They, they lowered her views on viewing, and YouTube does that. They, they do things in the sense that are, in my case, I don't sell ads, uh, but people in her case, she monetized, meaning she sold ads, and, and she felt YouTube had discriminated against her. Now, YouTube has had a problem. She complained that uh, people on their own that were filtering videos decided to go in and discriminate. And now we have, of course, somewhat of the scandal of Facebook, and now you have this YouTube thing. And the question should also be, are, are the online social media sites, the big ones, Google, YouTube, Facebook, and all, are they in a way contributing if you will, cyberbullying. You know, I, if people are making a living on YouTube or on these sites, and then you have individuals working for these companies, which we had about a few weeks ago when they hired a bunch of people, 10,000 people from the Southern Poverty Law Center, and then maybe they will discriminate against people with opposing views. So we have a question whether or not free speech is truly free speech. If somebody is advocating violence, of course they should be removed. But if you have a particular religious point of view or a particular political point of view, you should not discriminate. And it's been shown that they have done that. So I'll do this quick update because it's such a beautiful spot. Whether we do any more today, I'm not sure. Tomorrow, Colossians chapter 2. I didn't share them, but some people find them when I upload them, and so they get uploaded to YouTube and a few sites. But tomorrow should be the Colossians 2 study that we're doing. And that should be it for the news update. So that's uh, serious about the home invasion thing. And we want to uh, pray for our community. So. This is number one, and it's a beautiful, beautiful view of the water. And this is a very nice spot. I might use.
use it uh, a little more often to just show you 